They're not giving up. Disabled residents who live in a North Yorkshire village have been protesting again about new rules they say will undermine their way of life. Botton is 60 years old, a community where disabled residents live and work alongside unpaid carers. But the charity that runs the village with its own farm, shops and bakery is adamant that tax rules are being broken by the volunteers who must accept paid employment. Our business correspondent Ian Reeve reports from Moulton. We are Bolton, we are Bolton, we are free, we are free. Back again, protesting villagers and volunteers from Bolton. The Camp Hill Village Trust, or CVT, which runs the North Yorkshire Village from its headquarters here in Moulton, says the 30 able-bodied so-called co-workers must become paid employees because of tax rules. And the co-workers claim they've been told by the trust they can no longer share houses with the learning disabled they look after. Most of the latter just want things to remain the way they have been for the last 60 years, and that's why they're here. I think it would change. It would be devastated. If the co-workers left, I don't think Bottom will be able to stand. Frankly, it just, it just infuriates me. It makes me sick. They call themselves our friends, and yet they're treating us like dirt. CVT are threatening us to um, turn into a care institute, and we don't want that. We want to have proper co-workers. CVT, though, says co-workers can continue to share living accommodation. They just need their own front door, their own bedroom, bathroom, kitchen and living space. So how does that go down? For them, shared living is within the same architectural structure, yet you have a clear divide and you have your clear set working hours. You know, whereas now I live with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, saying I can only be with them and support them, support as they call it, for 37 and a half hours, radically changes the relationship I have with that person. CVT says a petition handed in four weeks ago has made it realise it could do more to explain how shared living will remain possible. CVT are telling lies, telling lies, telling lies. It also said the campaigners' views have been heard. Today's placards, though, beg to differ. Well, Ian is in RT's newsroom now. Ian, how can this issue be resolved, do you think? Well, the trust that runs Botton, CVT, is adamant that those co-workers, those 30 co-workers refusing to sign up to paid employment are breaking tax rules by continuing just to take allowances and other benefits. Now, the co-workers are equally adamant that if they sign up, that will be an end of the ethos that's been built up at Botton over 60 years. Meanwhile, though, notices to quit have been issued and most of the co-workers will be expected to leave by the end of May. Uh, but I can tell you tonight that a campaign group called Action for Botton has raised about £150,000 and it says it will put that towards as yet unspecified legal action. We don't know when that will start or what form it will take. Um, but how will it be resolved? I guess one party has to climb down. CVT says it legally can't. The co-workers say if they do, then a very special place will be destroyed. Ian, thank you.